Hello there, my name is Tom Kralo and I'm bringing you this cryptocurrency video. Now, as you might remember, I had a, an insane $150,000 short trade, uh, which I took in Bitcoin. And that's something that I wanted to show you in this video and to bring you an update on this trade. Also wanted to show you uh, what's going on in Bitcoin and what's my current view and what I'm personally waiting for and uh, some of very interesting chart activity. So stay, stick around till the end. And uh, just by the way, if you're still not registered for Crawlo Trading Show, uh, which you really have to register for, for a chance, a free chance to win a trip to Dubai, fully paid by me, a two week trip in, to Dubai in February. Uh, and uh, the plane ticket is paid, hotel, food and accommodation and yachts and cool cars and restaurants and a bunch of cameramen and filming it all for YouTube. It's going to be insane time. So I'm giving away five seats in my Crawlo trading show. So go to uh, the description of this video and you will see a huge sign saying Crawlo trading show register here. So go to crawlotradingshow.com and register your free participation. Uh, the registration closes very soon uh, at the end of January and the winners are going to be announced on the 1st of February. All right. So about my trade on Bitcoin, the $150,000 trade, I, get, I got kicked out of it. So, uh, well, in a good sense. So I still made good money. I made like four and a half thousand dollars on it. And so in total, in a week, we made like about seven, eight thousand bucks. So that's good. That's nice. That's not bad. Uh, considering that my account is still not that very big. I just uh, sent in another $150,000, $160,000. So the total balance is over a quarter of a million dollars. So that's already more and more interesting. But I got kicked out of it uh, because of my own risk man and money management. I'm going to show it to you in trading view just shortly. But I just wanted to show you the actual closed profit and loss, $150,000 uh, short trade. And here is the closed profit and loss, which is 0 0.104 trade uh, time, etc. So, so that you can see it's real that it was closed <laughs> with about four and a half thousand dollars. Okay, let's move right to trading view. I'm going to show you exactly what I see in Bitcoin right now and the reason why I got kicked out of this trade because of my risk and money management. But before we get uh, into all the charts and important data I want to share with you, which is actually uh, not very good right now, but there's uh, a few things that we have to keep in mind as of right now. And before we do any of that, I want to uh, let you know that if you want to be trading with Bybit, and I'm personally trading with Bybit, and I have close to $300,000 with Bybit as of right now. And there is a link down below in the description, which you can use my personal exclusive link, which is with my link. Uh, you can go and register with Bybit, it takes like 20 seconds and claim up to $4,100 in free bonuses for your trading. And this is quite awesome, obviously, after your initial deposit. So go do this right now. And okay, let's get right into what I want to show you. And uh, there are a few things before we jump into the actual price action. And that is uh, this uh, whale ratio at CryptoQuant. So this is something that uh, I'm a bit worried about because we can see right here a spike of whale activity at the exchanges. And uh, after we saw this spike right here, price moved even lower and there was some consolidation in Bitcoin price right here. And after we spiked, it actually moved down from about 47, 46,000 down to 41, uh, 40 and a half and oh, about $41,000. So and we've been consolidating in this area right now with not that very much volatility, which is also not that very good, a very good sign. So unfortunately, by looking at what we are seeing here in the exchange uh, whale ratio, uh, we might be uh, faced with another uh, big dump soon as well, just by looking at this whale ratio, something to keep in mind. But then also another interesting thing is the altcoin uh, season index, and it has suddenly just plummeted down to 59. So that's also something quite interesting in general, in my personal opinion, as of right now, something that is actually a bit confusing, in my opinion. So this is something to pay attention to. And besides that, let's take a look at this, something I haven't seen yet myself, which, which is very important. And this is the Bitcoin market cap, Bitcoin dominance. And right now we are still looking OK, bouncing off of that 40 percent, something that, as you might remember, is very important for us in this falling, um, squeezing flag formation right here. OK, so we can move this this chart back to this. And we also have to take a look at S&P 500 because right now one of the bullish signs that some are saying that um, yesterday 
S&P 500 had a uh, drop, but Bitcoin uh, really didn't follow it that very much. So there was no correlation. So a lot of people said that, wow, this is a bullish sign. We're going to break out very soon. But again, if we go to the daily chart as of right now, and we can finally adjust the level, by the way, um, let me toggle on the volume. And again, we don't really have any increase in volume and it's actually slowing down a bit. So for me, for my taste, this is quite dangerous right now for the bulls and both for the bears and vice versa. So it really is quite a confusing situation. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, I got kicked out, um, oh geez. Uh, the reason why I got kicked out uh, out of my trade, the short trade, the big short trade, let me just readjust the key mark 11. And a lot of you are going to be happy that I readjusted it. But again, I always place my levels based on what I can see in the chart. So um, let me just try to readjust it now to these peaks right here. There you go. Okay, so now again, it's not going to be touching this area because you always have to mark key market levels by the most amount of touches. And right now for us, so we didn't break it. So you can actually readjust your key market level just to uh, stay uh, in tune, intact with the market. So uh, in this instance, we're losing these touches, but these are more relevant in my opinion. So now we can actually readjust the key market level. And again, I'm not sure how precisely I did it. It usually takes me quite some time to mark them precisely. So nonetheless, okay, that looks actually pretty good now. So let's remove because I'm, I'm, I'm running around. I missed the video yesterday. I was supposed to make a YouTube video yesterday, but I didn't. So uh, because I really am running so many things at the same time. So please leave a like on this video. Let's get to a thousand likes and that would be amazing to see that support from my community because I'm making these videos for you guys and girls. So please do like the video. And uh, now, so as you might remember, I've taken a short trade uh, right from this area. I just removed that small falling wedge, the uh, yellow one, and I held it till for quite a while. My target, which still technical target for me still is about $40,500 right here and we moved below it. However, there was, let me just, there was, uh, as mentioned pri previously, there is a lot of volume standing in this area. If we take a look at the uh, volume profile, so we can see that there's a bunch of volume standing here. So I was really watching very closely this area and this price action and I wanted to see a quick break below so that, you know, the trade would be safe. Because again, certainly uh, it, there was already a lot of profit on my side. Uh, but it still is, it was about 43 something thousand. So it was very, uh, actually a bit lower, 42 something. So perhaps I think I entered in this area. So again, uh, this price, I mean, with the volatility of Bitcoin, it can, you know, cover this distance really quickly as it did, for example, here. So my risk and money management, uh, I am using a bunch of different rules for risk and money management, by the way, if you want to learn those, there's a link down in the description uh, to my famous trading webinar, which is one of the best webinars out there. So if you want to get into trading and uh, learn stuff for free, then uh, there is a link to the webinar. And also there are links to my uh, full-time trading education, my university grade trading education, really amazing piece of education. And there is a link uh, with a 20% discount on it. So one of the uh, simple, uh, with one of the very simple rules for risk and money management that I'm using is obviously when you have a trade, you are exiting either with a stop loss, a take profit or a signal in the opposite direction, you know, so it's uh, if you're going to be exiting just emotionally, randomly, your trading is going to be complete trash and you're not going to be able to replicate it. And it's going to lead you to over trading and stress and cons and consistent losses. Basically, it's just the way it is. So in this instance, uh, if we look even at the daily chart, let me mark it with a horizontal line just about like this. What I wanted to see, number one, this level was, uh, well, it's, it's, it's a floating level, as I call them, uh, because it was quite floaty in this area. It doesn't, it, it had some kind of resistance that I support. But again, I mean, it was constantly pierced. So it's, it's a very tight channel here, but there still was something at 41,500 around this area. And here, number one, we confirmed it here, then we confirmed it here. And then we again confirmed it somehow with this small hourly candle right here. And then we finally, and this was some kind of a squeezing. And I really wanted to see this squeeze really go down. 
and uh, to see that amazing profit uh, for my trade and my take profit was at about 40,600 uh, 40, somewhere in this area. So it was pretty much more than halfway from my entry to my take profit and uh, the take profit to stop, uh, to stop loss ratio in this instance was quite huge. It was like 10 to 1 if uh, this uh, target would have been met, the, the biggest target that I had. Uh, but in this instance, uh, I saw, I saw, and again, I'm not leaving trades with less than at least three to one. So in this area, actually, there was more than three to one in terms of my risk and money management. So it actually permitted me to exit if that was necessary. And here, uh, my, I actually exited out of it at about f uh, around this area. So I can actually readjust it a little bit. I don't know. I readjusted just a tiny bit I think it was I placed it like that probably yeah so uh, I exited in this area right here where the price got rejected yet again so I left it uh, automatically uh, not manually automatically uh, with because I, I I moved my stop immediately because if we would have been rejected and the true break model would have been broken I didn't want to risk it because uh, again there was a squeezing and we could bounce back up to for example retest this diagonal level which again was quite important but at the same time it was very risky because my entry would have been too close and again uh, it just adds on to the risk and it's our job as active traders to actually uh, manage any amount of risk and bring it down to as low as possible this is the way i have how i've been making a lot of money in the whole my whole my whole trading career so that's why i uh left with again the use of my risk and money management rules in a very systematic and technical way i left it at around 41 500 and something with a profit as i showed you right there uh, of about four and a half thousand dollars so that was quite nice but as of right now so what am i seeing right now right now we are kind of going in again in some kind of a flag formation so let me just remove this one here in a very short-term perspective uh let me just use oh, there it is so we are we have some kind of a flag i'm guessing when we can make market like this um let's make it bigger and again we have this resistance right here which is I guess a bit more accurate right now but even then I think that I can still readjust it ever so slightly well I'll do it later on so uh, let's take a look at this here so yeah right now we're gonna be deciding whether we want to be breaking below but again this is immediate short term if we want to be actually finally breaking below or uh, we're going to be breaking above which would be quite nice because i'm out of my short trade with a nice profit and i do hold bitcoin so if we're going to finally be breaking out of this um falling wedge in the daily chart which is this one right here that everybody is looking at this would be pretty sweet because if we break out of it and perhaps we will uh, finally in that case, our target is going to be the all-time high. So taking a really awesome trade from here from about maybe $44,000 or something with a stop loss of 40K, taking it all the way up to 70K would be really tasty, really nice. Or maybe even a shorter stop loss. Why not? So this is something that I definitely will be looking out for. But uh, again, as I said, the overall situation right now and with the uh, drop in the volatility and also the increased number of whale presence at the exchanges i'd probably be betting more on uh, this moving downwards uh, and retesting at least retesting the forty thousand and five hundred dollars and probably even going lower to uh, actually swipe some liquidity below uh, just to you know do some kind of a short squeeze or uh, i don't know now this is something that is also quite possible to go down to 39 and 38 and then actually bounce back up because remember we have this super strong resistance right here in bitcoin right now which has been confirmed just way too many times already to ignore it so uh if we go down our retest of it could be about at, at around uh 38 000. so this is where this is the worst case scenario in the immediate short-term perspective and also one more important thing to mention is that the current amount of short trades in the market is just as high as it was uh, in December's, the previous December sell-off. 
So this is something that is really interesting to keep in mind and see what happens because when again we when we have such a huge amount of short trades, it's number one of course is saying that you know the bullish uh, the bearish tendency of the market in general, but at the same time it also says that there could be a short squeeze. So we might try to kick out uh, all the. Uh, people who are shorting the market right now just to liquidate them. This could also be the case, so keep that in mind. And if we do, we could uh, the short squeeze could be up to about uh, 45,000, uh, 46,000, 44,000. But in that case, again, we would be breaking out of this wedge, so that would be a good sign. And then we would have to monitor and see the market incentive and whether there is uh, any interest in overall in um, the traders. Uh, for actually uh, getting back into futures trading and increasing their position. And what I'm talking about is this one right here, also in Glassnote, which you can take a look at, it's futures open interest. And right now we're hovering above the our uh, lowest peak from January the 7th, right here. And we really want to see this uh, open interest go above, for example, the peak right here that we had on January the 12th. So this could be also a very interesting indication if we're going to be breaking above, seeing some volume and also the open interest starting to increase and of course uh, short squeezing and uh, basically kicking out all the bears. This could be at the beginning of our next uh, bear market, uh, the next bull market. So just as an idea, and again, if you want to be trading with Bybit, a really great platform to start with. And if you, there is also a video on my YouTube channel with a detailed, I'll put the link right here uh, or right here uh, to a detailed tutorial of Bybit, how to use it, how to use leverage, how to use it properly, of course, and how to uh, operate the contracts, the differences between inverse perpetual and the uh, spot market and etc. So all of that stuff and how to use all of it, um, you can access uh, by clicking that button and checking out my Bybit tutorial. And also link down in the description, which you can use to open an account within 20 seconds, literally with Bybit and claim after your initial deposit claim up to $4,100 in bonuses. Hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, stay smart in the market, stay safe and uh, yeah, keep watching my videos and uh, cheer you. Best of luck and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.